What I'm about to say is incredibly important for the world. China established a new law that in the future could potentially put me or you in prison. We all know that China has global plans dangerous not just to the neighboring countries but to everyone. And until now they have been strategically quiet about it. By using the power of money China buys out countries. In Malaysia they are building a hundred billion dollar forest city that can home 700,000 people. They own it. They loaned billions of dollars to Sri Lanka and now they have a part of the country. They own it. And even the United States couldn't escape the power of Chinese money. During his presidency, Barack Obama had to cancel a stay in a hotel in New York because it was a Chinese-owned hotel. They own it. This map of projects funded by China is now two years old and ever since then there have been many more quiet projects that China funded. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. That was the strategy until now. Now, the coronavirus situation has very conveniently placed China as the world leader. While many countries still struggle, China, the one who started the virus, quickly managed to contain the situation and now they have a huge economic advantage over other countries. COVID-19 will force even more countries to sell out to the economic leader, China. That's why they don't need to be strategically quiet anymore. They are loudly taking over Hong Kong against all the global rules. They passed laws that give them power to arrest whoever they want. Only a few days ago, the first arrest happened to a person with a flag that says Hong Kong Independence. That person can get even up to life in prison for displaying a pro-democracy flag. That is insane. But the reason why I hope you help me make this video go global is because of what I'm about to say. While granting themselves the new laws to take over Hong Kong, China also established the Article 38. Listen closely. The law says non-Hong Kong residents can be prosecuted for their acts outside of Hong Kong. Let it sink in for a second. Non-Hong Kong residents outside of Hong Kong Chinese government created a law that applies to everyone on the planet. And the timing of this new law is not a coincidence. Not only this new law is overshined by the main objective, Hong Kong takeover, but also it's overshined by the global struggle of COVID-19. Many countries are afraid to speak up because they don't want to lose investors and only time will show how they use this law to control parts of the world. Because this is only the beginning. It's not a coincidence that only recently India and China had a border dispute. It was the deadliest clash between these two nuclear armed countries in decades. Because China is hungry to reclaim the border and India knows it. That's why they banned many Chinese apps to minimize the influence of China inside India. I will say it again. This is only the beginning. With time we will see more and more of the world built by China. To avoid harm, it's important to acknowledge that this is not anti-Chinese people. This is only anti-Chinese government's actions. We need to talk about them because this can change the future of the world and we can't just watch in silence before things get even worse. Instead, we need to ask ourselves a question. How much longer will it take for China to impose laws on other countries? How much longer till China creates a law that allows them to take over parts of Indian border and other places just as they did with Hong Kong? How much longer can we accept our government selling out to China? These are all important questions, but the most important one is how much longer till we all realize that the power of Chinese money is not about business or economy. It's about the plan, the plan for the world built by China.